So apparently uh, next week there's going to be a conference call. The NFL and and some and some people are going to be getting together. The competition the competition committee, is committee have a call, yeah. are going to be talking about this because it has become. It's funny. We were we were worried about the uh, the essentially uh, pseudo targeting rule that right. that has been invoked in the NFL. Is that going to be the issue? But it really hasn't been that at all. It's been the roughing the passer issue again. Our great researcher Riley. Greatest researcher in the history of this show. We there don't know go. the name of anybody else that's ever been a researcher on this show um, who maybe had a segment that we did on Wednesdays. Never never happened. Um, looked it up, and there were 33, 33 roughing the passer penalties through the first three weeks of the season as opposed to just 16 a year ago. So that is a 100% plus increase uh, from, from this year to last with what, the way they're calling that penalty. Now, now, again, this is a call that was already scheduled that they do, but yeah. this is going to get added, obviously, to what's going to be talked about in this call. And, and as I, I've said, I, I'm, I'm against just, as, as many people are, how they are calling this. And it, it is written in the books as a rule, but that doesn't mean you have to call it that way all the time by the letter, which the rest, and again, I don't blame them. They're being told to throw the flags and be overly protective of this, and that's exactly what they're doing. And while I've ranted and raved and screamed and yelled, and others have as well, as I've also said I don't think there'll be a change because it's not affecting the bottom line. Though I may amend that because, Mike, we're getting a lot of noise inside the game by the players, by the coaches, and when we were getting that a bit with the helmet rule in preseason, and we really haven't had that as an issue at all. There were a couple of years ago when they started really throwing the flags for the hits over the middle, but you could see when a guy's head was down and was missling, you did want that out of the game. This is truly has people confused, even quarterbacks who are siding with defensive players saying, "I don't, we don't know what to do now. We don't know what they want anymore. We don't know... You know how to interpret this, and it's a lot of chatter on the inside now. So I really wonder if something will be done. And really, the only something will be is getting to the rest and say, "Hey, listen, be a little more judicious about this thing. You don't have to throw it all the time." When you talk about it internally, when you've got members of the competition committee that are uncomfortable with the way that this is going and uncomfortable with all of the focus on this issue in the young NFL season, I think that's your best hope for change. Yeah, but but what you just said, I think, makes it almost impossible for the referees to do this right. If they say to them, hey, make it more judicious, basically, look, you know what any referee wants? They don't want to interpret intent. They want to interpret, is this in the rules? Is this out of the yeah. rules? I mean, that's why you went back and forth with touching the helmet. Is it a, is it a uh, incidental or not? Is it incidental yeah. or not? The face mask, was it incidental or not? They got rid of all that. If you're putting, if you're now asking the ref to say, hey, judge intent on what's going on here. You're putting them in an almost an impossible situation. I agree with that, but they've done it with the helmet rule. Yeah. How many flags were going on in the first couple of weeks of preseason? Now they're not going on now. And, and that's a really a judgment call as well, that they're just not calling anymore. But overall, I agree with you. Don't, like anything else, and I don't say this to be mean to the rest because the players are the same way, don't make them think so much. You know, don't don't make them say, okay, that kind of broke the rule, but did it break the rule enough for me to throw the flag? I, I agree. That puts the rest in a bad position. Well, I don't I don't necessarily think you're asking them to legislate intent or decide intent as much as just telling them in this situation, you don't have to throw the flag every time. Right now, we're hearing officials telling players, they're telling us to throw the flag basically any time it looks like right, this. Right, but when you're saying you don't have to throw it then every time. When, yeah, and when are you yeah. saying you do throw the flag, and when do you say you don't throw the, the flag? The same time you throw a flag on a holding call or a pass interference call when you think it's a penalty. Like that to me is it not a difficult portion of this? Uh, well, actually, I think it's the most difficult portion of it because basically, if you, first of all, they could call a holding penalty on every play. Well, yeah, and well, they I don't. guess that's, that's his the point. point. I, I, I right. guess I see your point is you, you deal with it just like any other penalty out there. Is, is if you thought it was holding, some refs are, and some refs are different. I yeah. do understand your point there, and. and Nah, he's pointless. <laughs> well, and this is crew, like you said, this is crew based too. Like yeah, we've seen different right, crews exactly. called this different ways. Like everything else, there's a reason NFL teams scout officiating crews, just like they scout other players, just like they scout opposing teams and tendencies. They're going to have that figured out by the quarter mark of the season too. 